Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Adams Field in Holliston for Ashland Sevens Playoff Baseball. And today it is the second postseason game for the Ashland Sevens as they welcome in Walpole. Walpole eight and seven overall. Ashland is 15 and one in the first playoff game. The Sevens took down Kingston 26 to nothing via a five inning mercy. Certainly a dominant performance last night by the Ashland Sevens. Owen Radcliffe is on the hill today for the Sevens. Tom Nappy on the call. Connor Donovan on camera. This is Ashland Sevens baseball airing on HCAM and Hopkinton, WACA TV in Ashland, as well as HCAT in Holliston. Let's take a look at the Walpole lineup. Jack Magane, the shortstop, will start things off. Max Martin, the second baseman, batting second. Chris McLean, the first baseman, hitting third. John Brady, the catcher, hitting cleanup. Tucker Hazel, the right fielder, batting fifth. Corey Kilroy, the third baseman, hitting sixth. Max Walsh, the left fielder, hitting seventh. Will Blainley, the DH, hitting eighth. And Billy Foynes, the center fielder, hitting ninth. Blake Conroy is the pitcher for Walpole, who is led by head coach Frankie Welter. For the Ashland Sevens, let's take a look at the diamond. Owen Radcliffe is on the mound. Jackson Hornung behind the plate. Dom Cavanaugh at first base. Mason Dushney over at second base. Tyler Dossis, the shortstop. Shea Donovan at third base. From left to right, Kevin Balowitz, Sam Farrell, and Nick Calabrese. It is a beautiful night for baseball here at Adams Field in Holliston. This game set for an 8 o'clock start. Temperatures are in the mid-70s. And we are just about ready to go to start off playoff game number two for the Ashland Sevens. Walpole got the 3-1 win versus Hyde Park in yesterday's 5 o'clock game to get to the nightcap for game two. And they are hoping for some more success here today against Ashland. But with Owen Radcliffe on the hill, it'll certainly be a tall task. Jack Magane stepping in the shortstop. And we are ready for baseball. Owen Radcliffe set to deliver. Line up and the pitch. And a little high, says the umpire. One and O. Oh. Matty Tomaselli got the start yesterday for the Ashland Sevens. Went the distance, all five innings, getting the shutout, so the arms are well rested for the sevens. As the next pitch is ball two to Magani. Radcliffe set to deliver, leg lift and the pitch. A little high there, three and oh. The last time these two teams met up was back in Walpole on July 22nd. And Walpole took the game seven to, or excuse me, Ashland took the game seven to four. There's a strike. Radcliffe set to deliver. And there's a walk to Magani. That'll bring up Max Martin, the second baseman. In the first game here today, Hyde Park eliminated Kingston with a 10 to one win. Hyde Park advancing to the five o'clock game tomorrow here at Adams Field. First pitch to Martin is slightly outside, one and zero. Oh. Radcliffe set to deliver. Owen Radcliffe has pitched 24 innings this season for the Ashland Sevens, as that's fouled away. Four wins, no losses. And he has a 1.45 ERA for the Sevens. He's put up some good numbers this season for sure as he's working from the stretch. With no outs and a runner on first. Wind up and the pitch. There's a bunt behind the plate, and it is going to be. Was it caught? 
It looks like it was dropped. Or it was caught. Nice catch there by Jackson. It was out of my sight line. That'll bring up Chris McLean. It's Jackson Hornung making the catch. Four out, number one. McLean steps in. Oh, Walpole trying to find some base runners early on in this game. There's a strike to McLean. Ratcliffe set to deliver the 0-1. A little high. One and one to McLean. Line up and the pitch. Slightly high. Two and one. Working from the stretch. Runner on first, one out, upstairs. Three and one. And a discussion between Owen Radcliffe and Jackson Horning. Oh, Walpole defeated Hyde Park yesterday, three to one. The stars of that game were John Brady went two for four. He's the catcher today, he had two RBIs. And Sam Donovan pitched five and a third of an inning, striking out four. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. That'll fill up the count. Three two pitch from Radcliffe. And this is hit into left field. That'll get down for a base hit. Magani gonna keep going to third as the ball gets away from Balowitz. He's gonna be waved around and he will score. A one nothing lead for Walpole, an RBI double for McLean. Well, a lot of field out there on that left side and it got by Balowitz and it took him a while to track it down. That'll bring up John Brady, the catcher. So Walpole striking first here on this Friday night. Wide up and the pitch to the cleanup man, a little high. One and oh. Ratcliffe set to deal. And this is up the left side, and it's off the glove of the shortstop. Picks it up, throw to first, and not in time. John Brady with the infield single. It was a good stop by Dossis, and he thought he was going to get the throw over, but Brady's showing off the wheels. That'll bring up Tucker Hazel, the right fielder. Advancing to third was Chris McLean. Two on, one out. Walpole getting the bats going early on. Wearing the Rebels jerseys. Radcliffe from the stretch. There's a strike. Yo one pitch. Slight lead off of first by the runner. The umpire says outside, one and one. Radcliffe looks at first and deals, fouled away, one and two. Right 
Radcliffe set to deal. Looks at third and delivers. Slightly high. Two and two. John Brady at first, Chris McLean at third. A one nothing lead for Walpole here in the top of the first. There's a strike and out number two. That'll bring up Chris Kilroy, the third baseman. Get that Corey Kilroy, excuse me. Radcliffe from the stretch. Down low. Radcliffe takes a look at first and deals. There's a strike. One and one. Lights are on here at Adams Field on this nice Friday night. Down low, good block by Hornung. Two and one. Significant lead off of first for Brady. Radcliffe deals. Backs the hitter off the plate there. Three and one. Walk here would load up the bases for Walpole. There's a strike, three and two. Radcliffe looks at first and delivers. There's a walk to Kilroy. That'll load up the bases and bring up Max Walsh, the left fielder. And Jackson Horning, as well as Coach Obed, coming out for a word with Radcliffe. Bases full of Rebels for Walpole. Run already in here in the top of the first. Radcliffe just having a little trouble finding the strike zone early on in this game. From the stretch. And this is going to be foul. Oh, and one. Radcliffe looks at first and is set to deliver. There's a strike, oh, and two. I don't know if you get out of this inning, only giving up one run. Certainly uh, pretty positive seeing the situation that Walpole has put you in. Leg lift and the pitch fouled away. Good crowd on hand here today at Adams Field. A lot of fans in the parking lots getting the nice outfield view. Here's the 0-2. There's strike three, and he got him looking. 
And that'll wrap up the top of the first. The Ashland Sevens coming up to the plate, trailing one to nothing on HCAM, WACA TV, and HCAM. Mason Dushney stepping to the plate to start things off. The pitcher for Walpole is Blake Conroy. The catcher, John Brady at first base, Chris McLean. Second base, Jack Magani. The third baseman is Chris Kilroy. And the shortstop, excuse me, the shortstop's Jack Magani. Second baseman's Max Martin. And first pitch is in there for a strike. From left to right, it's Max Walsh, Billy Foxness, and Tucker Hazel. And there's a ball delivered to Dushney. We'll take you through the sevens lineup when we get a moment. Mason Dushney starting things off. Sam Farrell batting second. Jackson Horning, the catcher, hitting third. Dom Cavanaugh, the first baseman, hitting cleanup. Tyler Dossus, the shortstop, batting fifth. Kevin Ballowitz, left fielder, hitting sixth. As this is driven to left field, that'll get down for a hit. And it's going to get by the left fielder. Dushney on his way to second base. We'll get there in time. Slides in with a double. That'll bring up Sam Farrell, the center fielder. Kevin Ballowitz, the left fielder, batting sixth. Lawrence Tang, the DH, hitting seventh. Shea Donovan, the third baseman, hitting eighth. Nick Calabrese, the right fielder hitting ninth. Farrell steps in. First pitch is a ball. Sevens bench pumped up for this game here tonight. Wind up and the pitch. Farrell hits this one high in the air over to left field, and they can't see it. They lost it in the lights. Dushney on his way to third, and he's going to try to score. Here he comes, and he will score with ease. We are knotted up at one apiece. And RBI for Sam Farrell hit that one sky high, and the left fielder, Max Walsh, lost it in the lights, and that will bring up Jackson Hornung, the catcher. A one-to-one -one game, here comes Hornung. Wind up and the pitch. Upstairs. Jackson Hornung, a 486 batting average, 618 on base percentage. And he hits this one sky high over to shallow center field. Second baseman ranges back and makes the catch. One away. That'll bring up Dom Cavanaugh, the first baseman. He's at a 395 mark on the season, 479 on base percentage. He has driven in 21 runs, scored 10. Wind up and the pitch. And he'll hit this one in foul territory, right side. First baseman makes the catch, two away. That'll bring up Tyler Dossis, the shortstop. Runner on second, two outs. A run in for the sevens. We're not at one apiece. Wind up and the pitch to Dossis. Down low. One and oh. Tyler Dossis, 341 batting average on the season, 434 on base percentage. Wind up and the pitch. Inside and briefly got away from the catcher, but he's able to gather it up quickly. Two oh pitch. There's a strike, two and one. Two 
2-1 pitch. And he'll get a piece of this one. Over to left field it goes. Farrell being waved around, and he's around to score. It's a 2-1 to one lead for the Sevens. An RBI single for Tyler Dossis. The speedy Sam Farrell scoring with ease. That'll bring up Kevin Balowitz, the left fielder. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. I'll make that a ball. I thought it was low. It sounded like the umpire said strike. The 1-0 pitch. Down low. 2 and oh. Here's a 2-0 pitch. Down low, gets away from the catcher, and Dossis is up to second on the wild pitch. A 3 0 count now on Balowitz. Wind up and the pitch, and he'll draw the walk. It'll bring up Lawrence Tang, the designated hitter. Designated hitter number 27, Larry Tang. Famously referred to as Larry, a 290 batting average on the season, 389 on base percentage. Two to one lead for the sevens here in the bottom of the first. Wind up and the pitch. Dallow gets by the catcher, and both runners will move up. Second wild pitch of the game for Blake Conroy. Line up and the pitch to Tang. And he will put this one foul towards us. One and one. Almost a gold glove play by Coach Obed. Runners on second and third, two outs, two in for the sevens. And he will put this one up the middle into center field, it goes. Dossis around to score and right behind him is Balowitz and it's a two RBI single for Lawrence Tang. A four to one lead for the sevens. Dossis and Balowitz quickly across home plate. And just like that, a 4-1 lead. And Shea Donovan will step up to the plate. Donovan, a 231 batting average on the season. Down low. 1 and 0. Oh. Well, the bats continue to start hot in this game as this is a bloop shot up the middle. Takes a couple hops on the grass. Bobbled by the third baseman. Everyone's safe. That was a difficult ball to play. I'm scoring that a single. Tang up to second. Now Nick Calabrese to the plate. It's a choppy surface out there at Adams Field. Nick Calabrese has been red hot in that ninth spot in the lineup. 591 batting average, 642 on base percentage. And we'll have a discussion on the mound here. The winner of this game will play tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. The loser will play the 5 o'clock game. And then the winner of the 5 o'clock game will take on the winner of this game at 8 o'clock tomorrow night. Certainly a much easier road to whatever team comes out with the win here tonight. Wind up and the pitch. 
There's a strike. Lefty steps back in. Swing and a miss, and a throw to second, runner back safe. Nick Calabrese went two for five yesterday and scored a pair of runs. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss, and that'll wrap up the inning, but the sevens bat around. And they lead it 4-1 to one as we head to the top of the second on HCAM, WACA-TV, and HCAP. Top of the second inning, a 4-1 to one lead for the sevens. 8, 9, and 1 do up for Walpole as Will Blakely, the DH, steps in. We'll see if Owen Ratcliffe can settle down a little bit. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Well, Walpole got started off on the right foot, but the 7 struck back with vengeance in that bottom of the first, plating four runs. Wind up and the pitch. Inside. Look out. 1 and 1. One-one pitch, that hit him. Taking one for the team there, that'll bring up Billy Foynes, the center fielder. Center fielder number nine, Billy Foynes. Radcliffe from the stretch, runner on first, fouled away. Backstop right behind home plate here at Adams Field. Not a lot of space back there at all. Radcliffe set to deliver the 0-1. Down low. One and one count. Down low. Two and one. Cliff so far has hit two batters and walked one. There's a strike, two and two. Two-two pitch. And this is up the right side. That's a fair ball. Cavanaugh gloves it, steps on first for one. Throw it a second, and they double him up. How about that? A three to six double play. And that'll bring up Jack Magani, the shortstop. Shortstop, number 13, Jack Magani. Nice defensive play there by the sevens to get two quick outs. And this is hit high in the air, over to right center, ranging over to make the catch is Calabrese. And just like that, we are through the top of the second. To the bottom of the second we go, Ashland leading 4-1. to one. You are tuned in to Ashland 7 Summer Playoff Baseball. Bottom of the second inning, a 4-1 to one lead for the Sevens. Stepping in is the leadoff man. Mason Dushney, since the sevens batted around in the first inning. Wind up and the pitch, up high. Blake Conroy out there for another inning of work. Uh, 
And this is hit in the air over to center field and caught 4-1 out. Ranging to his left was Tucker Hazel, the right fielder to make the catch. That'll bring up Sam Farrell. Number 10, Sam Farrell. Wind up and the pitch. Down low. One and O. Oh. Farrell scored one of the four runs last inning and had an RBI driving in Mason Dushney to make it a one-to-one -one game at the time. That pitch down low. One and one on Farrell. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. 2-1 count. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. 2-2. Two and two. Farrell's been red hot with the bat as of late. Coming off that midfield game where he had the solo shot. And then that put the sevens up four to three. And then he had the go ahead run to put him up five to four, sliding into home plate. 2 2 pitch. And it'll put this one sky high, right side, foul territory, and it's out of play. Count remains two and two. Wind up and the pitch fouled away. I don't know if they'll get that ball back. Two two pitch, and this is hit in the air right side out of play. The battle continues between Blake Conroy and Sam Farrell. Bases clear, one out in the inning. A four to one lead for the sevens. And Farrell gets a piece of this one. Hit in the air over to center field and caught two away. That'll bring up Jackson Hornung, the catcher who flew out. Good shot to Jackson shallow Hornung. center field in the first Jackson. inning. Wind up and the pitch. There's a called strike. Oh, and one. Conroy delivers, and Hornung gets a good piece of this one. Over to left field, it's caught. One, two, three, they go in the bottom of the second to the top of the third, we go. A four to one lead for the Ashland Sevens on HCAM, WACA TV, and HCAT. Top of the third inning, two, three, and four do up. Max Martin to start things off, the second baseman, followed by Chris McLean, the first baseman, then John Brady, the catcher. A four to one lead for the Ashland Sevens. All four runs plated for the Sevens in the bottom of the first. Wind up and the pitch from Radcliffe, and this is hit in the air over to left field and caught by Kevin Balowitz. One away. That'll bring up Chris McLean, the first baseman. First baseman, number five, Chris McLean. Nice catch there by Balowitz, and certainly got to battle the lights a little bit here at Adams Field. Radcliffe set to deliver. There's a strike, 0 oh and 1. The 
Leg lift and the pitch. There's strike two. Radcliffe shakes off a sign and is now set to deal. A little high. One and two. Leg lift and the pitch. And they can test down to the first base umpire. He didn't go. Two and two. Owen Radcliffe with two strikeouts so far on the evening. Leg lift and the pitch. Up the left side. Slow roller picked up by Donovan. Throw to first in time. Five to three for out number two. That'll bring up John Brady, the catcher. Catcher number 19, John Brady. Brady hit a single in the first inning. Radcliffe set to deal. Little low there, one and oh. We'll step off the mound for some time. Leg lift and the pitch. Little outside, says the umpire, two and oh. Here's the 2-0, upstairs. Three-oh pitch. And this is hit in the air over to center field and almost a great catch by Farrell, but he couldn't get there. It'll be a two-out single for Brady. It was a good dive, great effort at it. He lost the cap and everything, but just could not reel it in. That'll bring up Tucker Hazel, the right fielder. right fielder, Tucker Hazel. Tucker Hazel struck out in his only plate appearance in the first inning. Slight lead over at first base by Brady, and the first pitch to Hazel is a strike. Shakes off the sign. Looks at first. And now deals. Swing and a miss, so and two. O2 pitch. Got him. And that's out number three. We will head to the bottom of the third. Ashland and Lady Walpole, four to one on HCAM, WACA TV, and HCAT. Dom bottom of the third inning. Dom Cavanaugh stepping in, four, five, and six, two up. Uh, four to one lead for the sevens. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. Blake Conroy out there for his third inning of work for Walpole. Wind up and the pitch. And this is a little chopper up the left side foul. Oh and two. Wind up and the pitch, and he'll get a piece of this one, and right into center field it goes. A leadoff single for the cleanup man. That'll bring up Tyler Dossis, the shortstop. Number 13, the shortstop, Tyler Dossis. Dossis had an RBI single in the first inning, which ended up scoring the second run of the game. 
for the sevens. He also scored a run. Wind up and the pitch, up high. Doss has scored as part of the two RBI single from Lawrence Tang. There's Dossis and Balowitz crossing the plate to make it a four to one game. Down low. Two and O. Oh. Those sevens lineup just so dangerous all throughout. Down low and it gets away from the catcher and Kavanaugh advances. Third wild pitch of the game from Conroy. Runner in scoring position for the sevens. Line up and the pitch. Upstairs and Dossis draws the walk. That'll bring up Kevin Balowitz, the left fielder. He scored as part of the two RBI single from Tang as he walked in the first. Tomorrow night, we'll have Hopkinton Senior Ruth playoff baseball for you on our HCAM live stream and airing later on HCAM Ed, their first game of the postseason. That's 6.30 tomorrow night under the lights at the Hopkinton High School turf fields. And the winner of this game will play tomorrow night as well. Balowitz steps in. Unfortunately, we won't have Ashland Sevens coverage for you as we will be at Hopkinton Senior Ruth. Bunt pulled back. One and O. Oh. Wind up and the pitch. A little high there, two and oh. Set to deal to the righty. And Balowitz will rip this one up the left side, past the glove of the shortstop. The lead runner is gonna be stopped at third. It'll be bases loaded for the sevens. No outs in the inning. Kavanaugh up to third, Dossis to second, Balowitz to first, Lawrence Tang to the plate. Number 27. Lawrence Tang ripped Tang. a two RBI single in the first inning to make it a four to one game. Wind up and the pitch. And he'll put this one up the left side, into left field it goes. Kavanaugh's waved around. And the left fielder having trouble with the ball, so now Dossis is gonna come around and score as well. And now the throw to second to try to get Tang. Did they get him? No. Lawrence Tang advancing on the throw, another two RBI single for the Hopkinton native. And it's a six to one Ashland Sevens lead. Third baseman, Shea Donovan. Balowitz up to third, Shea Donovan to the plate. Shea Donovan had a single in the first inning. That was the fifth hit of the inning for the Sevens. They have now totaled eight hits overall so far today. Still no outs in the inning. Inside, one and oh. There is warm up action for Walpole. That pitch outside, two and oh. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike, two and one. Two one pitch and this is hit sky high, foul territory and out of play. Two and two.
Tang at second, Balowitz at third. And there is ball three that'll fill up the count. How about the day so far for Lawrence Tang? Four RBIs in the game. Full count pitch to Shea Donovan. And he'll foul this one away. Battle continues. Up high, and he draws the walk. Bases loaded for the sevens, and Nick Calabrese stepping to the plate. Chance to break this game wide open for Nick Calabrese. He struck out in his only plate appearance in this game. Wind up and the pitch down low. Line up and the pitch, and Calabrese follows this one away, just above us, one and one. One, one. And he'll get a piece of this over to right field. It's caught, and Balowicz is gonna tag and try to score, and the throw will not be in time. It's a seven to one sevens lead. An RBI sacrifice fly out by Nick Calabrese. Tang stays put at second, Donovan at first, Mason Dushney to the plate. Second baseman, number 12, Mason Dushney. Dushney one for two so far today with a run scored. Mason Dushney out of Ashland. An 18 year old, graduated this past spring. Swing and a miss. One out in the inning, runners on first and second. Three more runs in during this bottom of the third to make it a seven to one game in favor of the sevens. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike. One and one. Conroy set the deal. Down low. Check it at second runner back. Warming up for Walpole was Will Dominic to perhaps come into the game as the pitcher, or excuse me, it was actually Zach Oles who was warming up. Zach Oles. And Dushney gets a piece of this over to left field. It goes, that'll drop down. Tang being waved around. He's gonna try to score and he will. An RBI single for Mason Dushney. An 8-1 lead for the Ashland Sevens. And that'll bring up Sam Farrell, who's one for two today. Had an RBI double in the first inning. Shea Donovan up to second, Dushney to first. And well, that looks like it'll be the ball game for Blake Conroy. We'll have a pitching change for Walpole. An 8-1 lead for the Ashland Sevens in the bottom of the third. We'll take a timeout on HCAM, WACA-TV, and HCAT. Zach Oles takes over on the mound for Walpole. Blake Conroy, the starter, just going two and a third, giving up nine hits and eight runs. Sam Farrell steps in, wind up and the pitch. 
There's a strike. Runners on first and second for the sevens. They have plated four more runs in this bottom of the third. Still only one out in the inning. Line up and the pitch. Down low. One and one. Jackson Horning do up next. And as long as there's not a double play, the sevens will bat around for their second time this evening. That pitch outside, two and one. Well, the bats just so far in this postseason, unstoppable for the sevens. 34 runs scored and about eight innings inside. Three and one. And that'll be a walk. Bases loaded for the sevens. Shea Donovan to third, Mason Dushney to second, Sam Farrell to first, Jackson Hornung to the plate. Certainly not the hitter you want up right now if you're Walpole. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. Jackson Hornung recorded his 100th career hit in yesterday's game. He is just an unbelievable athlete. Wind up and the pitch from Oles down low. One and one. Oles set to deal. Outside. Two and one to Hornung. And he'll get a big piece of this one over to center field. And it is caught. Runner from third is going to tag. And here comes Shea Donovan around to score. A sacrifice RBI flyout by Hornung. And it is a 9-1 to sevens lead. That'll bring up Dom Cavanaugh, the first baseman. Well, if this ballpark had a fence, that would have been quite close to it. But luckily for Walpole, Billy Foynes was playing deep out there. And the check in at second. And now the runner from third going to try to score. And Dushney will score. Some trickery there by the Sevens. As they sent Farrell over to second base. And they send Dushney to home plate. A 10 to one lead for the sevens. Wind up and the pitch. Outside. Well, they love to do that. Get the runner at second picked off and then send the guy from third home. And it paid off there with a little bit of an overthrow. That's fouled away. First error of the game for Walpole. Wind up and the pitch. Outside. Two and one on Kavanaugh. Runner on second. Sam Farrell over at second base. Wind up and the pitch. Down low and he'll draw the walk. It'll bring up Tyler Dossis, the shortstop. He's one for one today with a walk. He has driven in a run and scored two runs. And a chance to add some more stats here. Well, 
It has turned into a six-run inning here in the third for the sevens. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike, and they thought about sending Farrell, but he's back to the bag. I think they were looking for an overthrow there. And this is hit high in the air over to center field and caught by the shortstop. But the Ashland Sevens plate six runs in the inning and they lead it 10 to one as we head to the top of the fourth. You are tuned in to Ashland Sevens Summer Playoff Baseball. Top of all pole, third baseman number one, Corey Kilroy. Top of the fourth, Corey Kilroy steps to the plate. Owen Radcliffe out there for another inning of work. A 10 to one lead for the sevens. First pitch to Kilroy's a strike. Line up and the pitch. And that is in there. One and one count. Radcliffe set to deal. There's a strike, one and two. Well, how about the sevens bats so far in this postseason? 36 runs so far. And pitch down low. 26 to nothing win against Kingston in game one. So far, they're up 10 to one here in the fourth against Walpole. Two-two pitch. Down low. Set to deliver. And this is up the middle over to the second baseman. Throw to first, not a problem. Four to three for out number one. That'll bring up Max Walsh, the left fielder. Now batting for Walpole, number 11, Dustin McCarthy. We have a pinch hitter. Justin McCarthy steps in. And he'll take ball one. Line up and the pitch, down low. Two and O. Oh. Radcliffe set to deal, ball three. So the winner of this game We'll play the 8 o'clock game against the winner of the 5 o'clock game. And if this score holds up, it'll be Hyde Park and Walpole at 5. Ashland playing the winner of that game at 8. But obviously, we have more baseball left to be played here. Wind up and the pitch, and this is hit in the air. Left side and foul. Three and one. There's warm up action for Walpole. Perhaps we'll see a new pitcher next inning. And this is up the right side. Fair ball bobbled by the first baseman, but Kavanaugh picks it up and steps on the bag. Four out, number two, and that'll bring up Will Blakely, the DH. Now batting for Walpole. And we're going to have a Will Domino. pinch hitter here. It'll be Will Domino stepping in. Line up and the pitch. Down low. One and O. Oh. Oh. 
Radcliffe set to deliver. Upstairs. Two and O. Oh. Wind up and the pitch, and this is hit high in the air. Over to the left side, Shea Donovan makes the catch for out number three. To the bottom of the fourth, we go. Ashland 10, Walpole 1 on HCAM, WACA TV, and HCAT. Now pitching for Walpole, number 18. Bottom of the fourth oh, inning, third left. pitcher of the day for Walpole. Connor Schlittler is in there to pitch. Kevin Balowitz steps in. Line up and the pitch. Ball one. Six, seven, and eight do up for the sevens. Balowitz, Tang, and Donovan. Line up and the pitch. Balowitz gets a piece of this, and it's caught by the shortstop. Nice catch by Jack Magani. One away, that'll bring up Tang. Coach Obid giving the shortstop props for that catch. Tang two for two today, four RBIs and a run scored. Line up and the pitch. And Tang gets a piece of this, that's a fair ball, gloved by the third baseman, throw to first, is gonna get away from the first baseman. And Tang is going to get an auto advance as that went into the crowd. So he will reach on the error and get the advance. And that'll bring up Shea Donovan. Shea Donovan has singled and been hit by a pitch. He's also scored a run. Big opportunity here in the bottom of the fourth. And it'll take one outside, one and oh. Wind up and the pitch, fouled away, one and one. Schlittler set to deal outside. Two and one. Two and one count on Donovan. Wind up and the pitch. Down low. Three and one. The Calabrese do up next. There's a called strike, full count. Line up and the pitch. There's strike three, two away. Well, Shea thought he had the walk there. That'll bring up Nick Calabrese. The Calabrese has struck out, and he had an RBI sacrifice fly out as part of that six run third inning. Ooh, takes that one inside, gets away from the catcher, and Tang is going to advance to third. So Tang advances on the wild pitch, which actually ended up out of the fence on the left side of the backstop. And Calabrese gets a piece of this back to the pitcher, throw to first, they'll get him. 
One to three for out number three, and we will head to the top of the fifth. Ashland leading Walpole 10 to one. It's Ashland Sevens Summer Playoff Baseball. 57, Owen Ratcliffe on the mound. Whenever you're ready. Leading off for Walpole, number 16, Jason Finkelstein. Top of the fifth inning, Jason Finkelstein steps to the plate. And he'll take a strike. He's batting for Billy Foynes, the center fielder. Nine one and two spots due up for Walpole. Wind up and the pitch. A little outside, one and one. Ratcliffe set to deal, swing and a miss, one and two. There's the one-two pitch, swing and a miss, and he got him. Out number one. That'll bring up the top of the order for Walpole. Jack Magane Jack, will step 13, in. Jack Magane. Magane. So Magane steps in. He is 0 for 1 today. He was hit by a pitch and scored a run in the first. The only run of the game for Walpole. And he takes a strike there. Wind up and the pitch, outside, one and one. Tom Nappy on the call, Connor Donovan on camera, playoff game number two for the 15 and one Ashland Sevens. Wind up and the pitch, there's a strike. Whenever this game advances to the pod championship, and the winner of the pod championship will advance to the final four. Wind up and the pitch. There's strike three, two away, two straight strikeouts by Radcliffe. Max Martin will step in. Martin 0 for two. Wind up and the pitch, fouled away. Here's the 0-1, there's a strike, 0-2. And this is up the left side. That is a fair ball. Martin heading around first over to second base. The throw over is cut off. And it's a 2-0 double for Martin. And will bring up Chris McLean. So run around second, two outs for Walpole here in the top of the fifth. Field umpire moving towards the Walpole bench area with a runner on second. And that'll get by the catcher, but quickly gathered up by Hornung. One and oh, the count.
Wind up and the pitch, and this is a fair ball. Slow roller up the middle, picked up by the second baseman, throw to first, no problem. Four to three, four out, number three. To the bottom of the fifth we go. It's Ashland 10, Walpole 1. You are tuned in to Ashland 7 Summer Playoff Baseball. Bottom of the fifth inning, the Ashland 7's Bottom coming back up to the Ashland plate. Seven, Top of the order Connor due up. Kramer. Connor Kramer gonna step in for Dushney. Line up and the pitch to Kramer. A little high, one and oh. Line up and the pitch, down low, two and oh. Kramer had a pretty good day yesterday. Walked three times, singled, scored three runs. Inside, oh no, they're gonna say it hit him. So Kramer gets first. That'll bring up Sam Farrell, whose jersey always seems to be filled with dirt because he is always sliding safely into some base, showing off that tremendous speed and the tremendous sliding skills. He's scored a run so far today and driven in one back in the first inning. And he'll get a piece of this one. Into center field it goes. Kramer heading to second. And that's where he'll stay. A nice single for Farrell. That'll bring up Jackson Hornung, the catcher. Two on, no outs for the sevens. First pitch to Hornung is outside, one and oh. Down low. Two-o pitch, and Hornung will rip this one over to right field, and that is going to get out of here. One run is in. Here comes another. It's a ground rule double. It should be a home run, but it's a ground rule. Now they're going to give it to him because that went past the fence area and right field. They're going to give it to him. And that's going to do it. Either way, the Sevens are going to mercy Walpole. And we'll say the final score is 13 to 1. I don't know. Is it technically a ground rule double or is it a, a three run homer? We'll say 13 to 1. It should be a home run. The Ashland Sevens get their second straight playoff mercy win in five innings as they take down Walpole by a final of at least 11 to 1. Could be 13 to 1 if they count that as a homer. I thought I saw the umpire wave that it was a home run, but in any case, the Ashland Sevens moving on to the pod championship tomorrow night, 8 o'clock, right here at Ashland Middle School. For Connor Donovan on camera, I'm Tom Nappy. The final score for the final time, the Ashland Sevens take down Walpole. 13-1. This has been Ashland Sevens Baseball on HCAM and Hopkinton, WACA TV in Ashland, as well as HCAT and Holliston. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your night. We'll talk to you again soon. Good night, everybody.